We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know We actually have a little lime tree in our backyard. I think these are ready. My first limes from the yard. We bought these little lights for our patio. So Micah's trying to put it up now. Have a little nice ambiance at night. We are currently on the way to visit my sister because she gave birth to her baby. She's the cutest little thing in this whole entire world. So we're gonna go visit her, pick up some lunch from Jersey Mike's. It's actually gonna be Micah's first time meeting the baby, which is so exciting. This man loves, loves children. <laughs> and yeah, I'm so excited to see her. It's so weird having a baby in the family. It's so crazy to see my sister become a mom. Just a very exciting time. grandmother tonight. It's literally 9 30. I have my tea. I'm going to read in bed. This is definitely not the kind of night I would have predicted that I would be having at 23 when I was younger. Micah left back to Maui tonight so he's gonna be gone for the week. I'll be here by myself obviously. I'm having one of those nights where the house is feeling a little spooky. What are you gonna do about it? N not look down scary hallways. That is my that's what I don't do. I just started reading Funny Story by Emily Henry. If you remember in one of my recent vlogs, I was reading this, The Perfect Marriage, finished it. I really liked it. I sped read through this book because it was so good. But I will say, if you've read it, I thought the ending was like, not what I wanted it to be. It's still good though. So now I'm doing a feel good book. It's kind of like a cheesy rom-com, which sometimes I like. And sometimes it's just like, okay which i love emily henry and i don't want to judge this book too quickly but it's feeling a little predictable but i'm not gonna lie that's kind of what i want right now i want something simple i want something cute flirty fun so i think this will be the perfect book i will say sleeping in a king size bed gets a little lonely so i have my squish you guys have seen him before he's actually from the philippines Fun fact, Micah hand carried this back with him the last time he was there. So that's the story behind this guy. I feel like this is the comedic relief in this room because it just feels so adult and mature. And I'm like, mm. we've got quite a few things on the to-do list for the house tomorrow. So we're gonna get a good night's sleep. I will see you in the morning. <laughs> the house agenda today. We've got some decorating to do. I've been slowly collecting some little home decor pieces that I think will really personalize the space, spice it up. My dad is also coming over in a little bit to help with some things, which I'm very excited about because the things that he's gonna be doing, I could probably figure it out, but one, I don't want to, and two, I'd probably mess it up. So he'll be over here in a little bit, do some dad stuff. So I'm gonna get ready. Ready for the day. I've got some couch updates, woohoo. Initially, if you watched my home decor shopping vlog, you know I found these two pillows at Ross, which are so perfect, especially because they're green. And green is the only color that I apparently know, as a lot of you have pointed out. Every time I say I'm gonna add color, it's literally just green. But to be fair, green is my favorite color. 
and I feel like it's just the most safe color to work with. Anyway, I think it looks really good in the house, kind of with the vibe that I'm going for. I definitely want to keep it warm. I feel like there's so much greenery outside. I want to bring the greenery in here too. Anyway, also got this beautiful throw blanket that I've kind of just been throwing in the corner over there. Truly, it is so big. I got like the biggest throw size that I could possibly find. And I really like this color because it's a little bit darker than these green accent pillows. So that's been super cozy. The corner's kind of looking a little random, but I wanted to show you, I got these two throw pillows that I think are so beautiful. I really liked the orangey rust color. I feel like it bounces out with the green, it adds a little bit of a pop, and then just this neutral brown pillow behind it, which I think looks really good. So I have that in that corner, same ones in this corner. I think I'm supposed to add the same in this, and then that goes there. So it would be like same, pillow combo in the corner. Cause right now it's looking kind of random, but I'm really happy with how the couch is looking. Truly, it is so cozy. I feel like I've already claimed this corner as mine. I did so much research for lack of better words. I did a lot of Pinterest searching for how to properly pillow decorate an L sectional. And from what I've gathered, the most popular thing to do is to do two in each corner and then three in the center with an accent pillow. So the green pillow would be accent. Exciting developments there. I can't believe I got a color other than green. Please be proud of me. I have more home decor to haul for you. I asked you guys if you were tired of seeing me do these random hauls and all of you said no. So if you didn't speak up and you are tired of seeing these, that's kind of more boring stuff. I'm gonna start with the fun stuff. I got quite a few things from Soho Living, which is a local store here. They have so many beautiful Hawaii-esque pieces. And I really, really love their stuff. I feel like it kind of goes with the vibe that I'm going for in this house. This is indeed for my mermaid themed room. I'm just kidding. I got this for my niece. She has a kind of a mermaid theme going on in her room. So it's a little clock, so cute. I just about died when I saw these beautiful pillowcases. Mike and I have been wanting to add more local touches to the house here and there. And we've been actually meaning to put some throw pillows in the bedroom. So I picked up these. Oh, these are so beautiful. First of all, I think the orange is gorgeous. It's got that lay detail. So I have two of those. And then I thought a nice one in the front would be this with the green that kind of ties in with the green bedroom wall, but it also has the orange. So it'll kind of all go together. These I thought were perfect for the kitchen. It's these little hand towels. So beautiful and nice. Maybe I'll put one in the guest bathroom too. This is actually not for me, but it's an apron that I got for my sister. She loves to cook. So I thought this would be a nice little gift. The rest of this stuff is all of the things that I need my dad's help with today. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Just a little cockroach interrupting my haul. There is only one thing that I miss about apartment living and that is not having to deal with bugs and spiders. That has been, se <gasps> that has been severely humbling. Hello? Why do I feel like, am I going crazy? New faucets, so exciting. You guys know I'm black light fixtures for all of the bathrooms. Dude. That is a sleigh and a half, I will say it. Initially I was a little worried about how the orange was gonna look. I just wasn't sure if it was gonna be like too much. This looks literally perfect, exactly the vibe that I wanted to bring into this room. Eventually I'd love to get some photos framed and put that above the headboard of Micah and I or something. I just think that would look really nice. Possibly do something with this corner because it's kind of just like a big gaping corner right now. But I don't know where this guy's gonna go. Maybe like... Thank you. 
I finally got some welcome mats that I'm particularly excited about because they're from this local business. I actually found her on Etsy and it's definitely like local <laughs> inspired mats. Hemoda slippers. That means take off your slippers. Remove the slippers. I thought this was perfect because it's kind of funny. I love this one. I got three because I want one for the garage, the front door, and then the back patio door. This one, just a classic little aloha with a cute lei. And the concept of this one is so cute. So it says a komomai, which is welcome, and then a hui ho. So when you leave, it says goodbye. And then when you enter, yeah, you get the gist. I've literally just been using old bath mats as <laughs> welcome mats. So let's put these outside. Coda's here for a little play date. I currently am making a smoothie and he smells the peanut butter. <laughs> He's going crazy. <laughs> oh my Picking up some snacks. I had no business doing that at 10 o'clock at night. Let's do a little snack haul of some of my recent favorite things from Target. I was comfy on the couch watching Gossip Girl. So you know the snacks have to be good to get me up from that. Micah's sister hooked me onto these because she let me try hers once. They're the true fruit chocolate covered assortment of fruits. So we got chocolate covered peanut butter banana, insane. Chocolate covered raspberries, which is my favorite, which is ironic because I'm not even the raspberry girly, but with these I am. And then, haven't tried these yet, chocolate covered blueberries and cherries. Truly, it feels like a curse that I need to have a sweet treat after dinner like at night i have to i i can't not these are my favorite snacks as my sweet treat it looks like this it is so good random cottage cheese this brand specifically good culture i love i've been loving cottage cheese for a while it kind of freaked me out now it doesn't chomps i love a beef stick <laughs> These I kind of went crazy with because they were having a sale. Made Good is one of my favorite, favorite brands. So I got granola bars, chocolate chip, this soft bake oat bar. I haven't tried these. This is a chocolate drizzle birthday cake one. Basically it's just made with really simple ingredients. And then this one. Then I picked up some Olipop. These are a treat. I haven't been, I haven't had one in a while just because they're kind of expensive. Ginger ale and cream soda, it's so good. Lemonade, this is so nice to mix with a vodka. Tried that out the other night, went a little crazy. It was so good. I also just love a sweet juice with dinner, so it's perfect. And then vodka sauce with pasta. We're building a desk today. I bought this duo desk from Wayfair. So I, I'm like kind of nervous to see. It's either gonna be a slay and a half or a flop, but the reviews were good. I feel like with Wayfair, you really have to read the reviews. So I've heard, I've never ordered from them. Should be pretty good. We have both the office chairs, so time to build a desk.
Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't sure how this was gonna look, but I think it's really nice. Honestly, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it was going to. It was way easier putting this together than any like Target furniture that I ever have. Love Target furniture, but this was just particularly really simple, I feel like. I saw the whole concept of a duo desk on Pinterest a while ago and I really liked it. Instead of having like two separate desks, it's just one big one. Here's the finished desk. I really like it. It's a very simple one, but honestly, I was just happy to find one that one actually ships here because that's a big issue. Sometimes shipping costs like three times actual product when you're trying to ship it to Hawaii. So I'm really happy with this. I also feel like for a desk for two people, it's pretty affordable. I think it was $200 plus the shipping here, but compared to everything else I was looking at, this kind of, kind of slice. Try sit. Big things are coming guys. This is cool. Micah wants to put a fat PC up so you can play video games. <laughs> so you can do your gamer girl thing. Yeah, true. There is a, well, I'm not saying that period has passed, but I did consider being a Twitch girly at one point. Rent is due. Everything is starting to come together so nicely. I feel like I haven't poured in a lot of time into this room or the other room just because it wasn't priority. So it's finally nice to see everything come together. We're thinking of putting some of these up. I got these when they were on sale at Target. It's these floating wooden wall shelves. So that might look good above the desk, but I'm also trying to figure out where I wanna put this painting that I got from a local artist here. It's one of my favorite pieces that I have kind of like the only true art piece that I own. So I think I wanna put it in here just because this is kind of my colorful room and it kind of-ish matches the vibe of the carpet, like similar colors. So I'm trying to figure out where in here. I should put this above the desk, above the couch. If you have any thoughts, opinions, let me know. Thanks for hanging out, coming along. Always a pleasure to have you here. If you stayed to this point in the video, first of all, you're amazing, I love you, thanks for Thanks for sticking it out. And second, so I know who stayed, comment down below the lime emoji in honor of me being in my gardening farm girl era.